वेलकम बैक माई सेल्फ मिस फलिना गुंसाल टीचर हिट विद मंदिर इंग्लिश हाई स्कूल महाराष्ट्र बोर्ड बसे टूडे वी आर गुन टू लर्न चैप्टर नाइनटीन ऑफ साइंस फॉर स्टैंडर्ड सेवेंथ द टॉपिक इज प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड वॉट आर मैग्नेट आर मैग्नेट इज अ मटीरियल और ऑब्जेक्ट द प्रोड्यूस अ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड मैग्नेट आर मेड फ्रॉम एलॉय ऑफ आयन कोबाज एंड निकिल निमल मार्ग an alloy of iron nickel aluminum and titanium is used to make magnet magnetic field is a place in space near a magnet or an electric current where a physical field is created from a moving electric charge that creates force or another moving electric charge this magnetic field is invisible but is responsible for the most notable property of a magnet Let's know the characteristic of magnet. A freely suspended magnet settles in the north-south direction always. Magnets attract objects of iron, cobalt, and nickel. The force of attraction of a magnet is greater at its poles than in the middle. Like poles of two magnet repel each other, whereas opposite poles of two magnets attract each other. If a bar magnet is suspended by a thread. and if it is free to rotate its south pole will move towards the north pole of the earth let's know the method of producing magnet there are two method of making artificial magnet single touch method and double touch method under single touch method one magnet is used to magnetize the steel bar whereas in double touch method two magnets are used to magnetize the steel bar in single touch method the magnet is dragged from one end of the steel bar to another end whereas under double touch method two magnets are dragged from the middle of the steel bar to the opposite direction in single touch method as only one ma magnet is used to induce magnetism this method is called single touch method under double touch method as two bar magnet are used to induce magnetism this method is called double touch magnet under single touch magnet magnetism created by this method is of low strength and lasts for a short time whereas under double touch method magnetism created by this method is of high strength and lasts for a longer time earth a gigantic magnet earth is a giant magnet with north and south magnetic poles and magnetic field earth's magnetic field helps to protect earth's surface and its organism from harmful solar particles by pulling most of the particles towards magnetic pole the scientist william gilbert gave scientific explanation based on experiment of the observation that a freely suspended magnet always settles in the north south direction he gave a round space to a naturally occurring magnetic rock he suspended this spherical magnet so that it would turn freely and brought the north pole of a bar magnet near it the south pole of the magnetic field was attracted towards it the earth is called as a gigantic magnet because north pole of a freely suspended magnet always settles in the direction of geographical north pole of the earth it means that south pole of some gigantic magnet must be near geographical north pole of that magnet near geographical south pole of the earth gilbert inferred from this that earth itself is a gigantic magnet however the south pole of this magnet must be near geographical north pole of the magnet while magnetic north pole is near geographical south pole magnetic needle a magnetized needle that can freely rotate in a horizontal plane is used to indicate the north and south direction magnetic compass a magnetic needle is used in the magnetic compass to indicate the direction now 
Why is a magnetic needle used in the compass? The magnetic compass is the most familiar compass type. It functions as a pointer to magnetic north, the local magnetic medium. Because the magnetized needle as its heart aligns itself with horizontal components of the earth magnetic field. A compass is an instrument used for navigation and orientation that shows direction relative to the geographical direction. Now let's know about magnetic field. The region around a magnet where the magnetic force acts on an object is called a magnetic field. For this, let's try this experiment. Take a bar magnet and some pins. Place them at such a distance from each other that they do not stick to each other. Now, slowly move the magnet towards the pin. Observe the pin as they get pulled to the magnet. The magnet attracts the needle from afar. We can say that a magnet has an effect even at a distance. Now, take a small cardboard, place a bar magnet at the center. Sprinkle iron feeling on the cardboard around the magnet. Tap the cardboard gently. Now observe the iron feeling. The magnetic field around a magnet can be shown by means of magnetic line of force. A magnetic field is a magnetic effect of electric current and magnetic material. Magnetic fields are produced by electric current. The magnetic field at any given point is specified by both direction and the magnitude. Now let's know intensity of magnetic field. Intensity of magnetic field in a particular area can be understood by the number of field lines passing perpendicular to that unit area. Intensity of magnetic field is less in the area of magnetic field where the lines of force are less dense and the intensity is more where the lines of force are more concentrated. Now let's understand the property of magnetic line of force. The British scientist Michael Faraday proposed the idea of magnetic line of force for the first time. The properties of these lines of force are as follows. Magnetic line of force are imaginary connecting line. Faraday explained magnetic attraction and repulsion with the help of it. Magnetic lines of force always start from the north pole and end on the south pole. Magnetic lines of force are in a state of tension like a stress strain. Magnetic lines of force ripple each other. Magnetic lines of force do not intersect each other. The number of magnetic lines of force at a particular point determines the strength of the magnetic field in that region. Magnetic force is a vector quantity. Penetrability of the magnetic field. Magnetic field can be passed to a magnet, water, as well as plastic bottle. This property is called penetrating ability or the magnetic field. To understand this, let's perform this activity. Spray some pin on a table. Hold a cardboard at a small distance above the spin. Place a bar magnet on the cardboard and observe. Now, move the magnet slowly over the cardboard and observe. Repeat the procedure increasing the layer of cardboard. In the second one, fill water in a plastic bottle. Drop a few pin in the water. Take a bar magnet near the bottle and observe. Move the magnet through a small distance near the bottle and observe. From observation, we see that a magnetic field can pass through a cardboard, a bottle of water. However, in each case the intensity of magnetic field is found to decrease. What are electromagnet? A soft metal cord made into a magnet by the passage of electric current through a coil surrounding 
it is called an electromagnet an electromagnet is a magnet in which the magnetic field is produced by electricity the strength of an electromagnet can easily be changed by changing the amount of electric current that flows through it the poles of an electromagnet can even be reversed by revising the flow of electricity an electromagnet work because an electric current produces a magnetic field the magnetic field produced by electric current forms circle around the electric current the magnetic field disappear when the electric current is turned off now let's know about metal detector and their uses the function of metal detector is based on the property of electromagnet these machine are used for inspection of person entering very important places such as airport bus stand certain temples and building metal detector are used to detach very precious articles and detach any iron or steel object mixed unknowingly in food stuff which can be harmful to the health in geology this detector are used to test the presence and quality of metals copy down the following assignment thank you for watching the video